everyone wants to put their best foot forward for Christmas lunch, but deciding on what to make for Christmas uh, can be daunting. Will it be turkey or gammon or good old seven colors? If you're losing your mind over the ideal of a showstopper feast, worry not. Help is at hand. Renowned chef Lizzie Wemathola is in studio to share some of her mouth-watering Christmas recipes with us this morning at Lizzie. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for coming in. Okay, so what is the protocol for Christmas? I see there is gammon, there is turkey. How did we end up with gammon and turkey? Do we know where that came from? I think because we are so, in South Africa, we're so versatile and uh, we've, we've you know, we, we, we have so many traditions and so, so many different cultures. So many cultures. So we adopted each other's cultures. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But we, we try to stick traditional to our meals. That's what we enjoy. Um, I think Christmas is all about that. Yes. So yeah. being together with family, sharing a meal. So what is your go-to Christmas lunch? What's fuss free and I'm asking for myself now because I'm in charge of Christmas lunch. Is it? Yes. <laughs> I like <laughs> ideas actually. Okay. So no, what is I'm your go-to? I am here. Things are going to be so easy for you this Christmas. Okay. okay. I, 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 for me, Christmas is a feast. It's a celebration. Mm. So it's the people coming together, my family, my friends, my kids, uh, even colleagues. So it is a, it's a big celebration. I don't want you to hold back and because of I'm going to say here, I, I stay under budget. I really st do stay under budget. Yeah. Yes, I would prepare a meal for 10 people and my budget is 1,000 rand. I'm going to stick to that. So I am here today. Um, I think it, 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 we should be celebrating a Christmas over the table dinner uh, with wine and relaxing, laughter and all that. So this is what I did. Um, I, I'm, I'm all about a feast. I love good food. Mm -hmm. So I've created really easy uh, recipes with readily available ingredients. Okay. When you called me and invited me, I didn't go to shops and buy anything. I it's opened my fridge. Already had in the house. Yes, I just but opened my fridge. You're, you're a chef, though, so I, I imagine your kitchen is always <laughs> ready. But okay. not that much, not that much, because what I did is just um, I prepared roasts, a different yeah. roast. I played around with white meat because it's my favorite and it's affordable. So I, instead of you going and adopting the techie, which is you, very American, which is very American, we can still stick to the roast chicken, the Sunday roast chicken. Yes. So what I did, I stuffed it with a stuffing so that it's it kind of accommodates the turkey uh, version of things okay. and then i have instead of gammon because I, i'm trying to cut cost i went for a fillet fillet pork fillet is still very affordable you can do that and with a little two pieces of pork fillet you can serve about 10 people i think that is very nice and we have um we have snook for those mm. people who won't be um for the vegetarians and the, the vegetarians and the also that snook is very uniquely south well yes I think you get it in other parts of the world but it, it means it's, it's very it's south, african. south african yes it's we the claim thing it. we do yes uh, so i put this uh, snook in there a very easy recipe what i use with snook i use jam I use soy and then my fresh uh, uh, herbs, put it in the oven, and then it's done, 20 minutes. But I thought if my mom was to come over, she would possibly not be excited about um, a fillet, a stuffed fillet, uh, some dry meat with a little sauce on the side, you know, fancy. My mom would want something very saucy. Uh, because you know, at Christmas, uh, I, I can't remember the last time we had a non-rainy Christmas. We yes. always have rain. Yes, if it starts yes. well in the morning, it's going to end with the rain. So I thought a saucy dish with um, a lamb, with um, I, 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 I spiced it up, I used Moroccan flavors and made it bold so that it's very nice and exciting, and very fun to eat. What so, is in the pork fillet? You said it's a stuffed fillet. It's a stuffed fillet. I stuffed it with uh, mushrooms, chives and cream cheese. Oh. Yes, oh. so that's exciting, hey? Yeah. yeah. With some fried onion. But for this recipe, obviously, you will have to go to my pages and like them and get free recipes. <laughs> <laughs> so how long does it all take? Because for me, one of the things that daunts me about Christmas lunch is it's a marathon. Oh my word. <laughs> you start in the I morning. I can imagine. <laughs> you hope that it's ready for lunch. You get to time. enjoy the day. Yeah, because, yes. you know, you're in front of the oven all day. And so it really feels like it's this long, you know, process. But this looks like it was stuff that wouldn't have taken 
too long. It's not like you need to wrap no. it in the crack of dawn. So it's no, ready no. for lunch. I am here to tell you that we prep. The best thing is to prep. Please prep. Go in the, uh, on the 24th, prep. Marinate your chicken. Okay. And then in, in the morning, you can just prepare your stuffing and stuff it. And then you uh, marinate your fillet and butterfly it, stuff it. And then you string and put it in the fridge. Tomorrow is ready. Snook. 20 minutes is ready. So these, all, all of them, they took me two hours, all of the dishes. As in on the day? On the day. On the day when you were making it? On the it. day. Only two hours? It's only two hours. So I am, I, I am thinking it will take you three. I'm giving you the extra hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is in that chicken? The chicken? What is the stuffing? We did the bread stuffing. It's, it's onion and herbs and your, your stuffing with a lemony um, zest just to give it, to give the, the, the chicken the, that lemon and herb flavor. So there's a big fight. There's been a big fight on my timeline about trifle. Trifle, I think, is a British, it's a European idea. We've obviously adapted it, and now it boils tennis biscuits and um, tin fruit and mm -hmm. etc. But there's always this big fight about what makes a good trifle. Other trifles involve uh, Swiss roll. Is a trifle a good dessert to make? And how do you make a good one? Is it still the biscuits and the tin fruit and the jelly and the custard? Or are there ways, other ways of doing it? You know food? what? It's my favorite dessert. Really? Favorite. If you can go on my timeline, I think I have like eight different types of a trifle. Okay. It's a centerpiece. There is no Christmas dinner without trifle. Okay. What do you mean? It's the easiest uh, uh, dessert to make and it will serve everybody. Yeah. You just have to not just put everything in there. You can put maybe three ingredients, but don't go and put everything you then there's biscuits, but there's tin sponge, fruit. there's tin fruit, there's fresh fruit, and then and there's jelly. jelly. And custard and, and jelly. jelly. No, let's not do that. Um, I'm going to share this on, on my Instagram since you said it. I'm going to share the recipes that I have. I will just re reshare them. Okay. But yeah, so that you can also have them. So, so the trick with trifle is less is more. Less is more. Then you get to enjoy it. You can do two ingredients. I actually thought I would make it for you today. You can just two, do two or three ingredients. Then it's nice. Because imagine if you were to eat those things separate, would you eat them? If there was five types of ingredients and you put them okay, in Okay, I do that with dessert. I'm the worst oh, person. Oh, you are that person. <laughs> I'm actually the worst that person. person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's what. Then me, you definitely need my advice for the trifle. Yeah, I'm not just throw everything in there. <laughs> no, let's so, not. So, what is your go-to easy trifle recipe? My easy. What I enjoy, I still enjoy the traditional trifle. Is this I, the, the, the one the with the jelly. cake or with the biscuits? I do with. Uh, I've never done it with a cake. I don't think I like it. Okay. But if I'm doing uh, the peppermint version, which There's I'm a doing that. Peppermint version. The the. The pudding, you know, the peppermint crisp pudding. Yes. Yes, I do that in a trifle. So that um, that um, uh, caramel flavor, mint, biscuit layer, three ingredients, and that's it. So you turn that into a trifle. That's also nice. Mm. And then I would do the traditional jelly one. I'll put fruit in my jelly, and then maybe layer a top of cake, and then with cream. Fresh that's fruit it. or tinned fruit? Fresh fruit. I'll I'll use berries, not even like a large. Uh, fruits yeah. collection. So keeping it very simple. <laughs> very simple. Okay. Very simple. For for kind of is, is that a fruit cake? This is a Christmas cake. I've I've done it with um, some orange zest, uh, cranberries. Please let's open it. Okay. It's orange zest, some berries, and nutty. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, just, um, it's just a, it has a nice Christmas feel to it. And I see there's yes. a bit of gold. It's a bunch cake. Yeah, okay. just to compliment, you know, the shine shine of the yeah. Christmas. Okay, this is my favorite part. Dessert's always my favorite part of the meal, so I'm quite excited. Mm -hmm. So this is just a very simple, you said it's orange. It's so orange. simple sponge. Very simple sponge. Okay. I just use a fancy tin just to complement the theme of Christmas. It's a bundt cake. But what is a nothing. bundt cake? A bundt cake is actually your, your tea afternoon cake that uh -huh. is baked in a bundt tin. This is that's, all, that's why we call it a bundt cake. Okay. Why do people hate fruitcake so much? I love fruitcake, but fruitcake has a very bad reputation. I, I think maybe love it's the too stuff. sweet. I think it's really? the sweetness and the food. You know, some people don't appreciate um, cooked fruits. 
So I think maybe it could be a turn off there. That is gorgeous. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. How long does that take? Looks like you need to be a master chef. To no, no. That. It only took less than an hour, 45 minutes in the oven. Okay. Yes. So all of this, you can kind of have lunch ready in about two hours. Two hours. Let's say three tops. <laughs> if you wake up very early on Christmas Day, with your prepped marinated meat and everything, the cake you can do it the night before though. Yeah. Let's do it the night before so that you are free and a trifle. Do it the night before. And a trifle. <laughs> so we're doing cake and trifle this year? Yes, we are feasting. We are feasting <laughs> and the budget is thousand rand. We don't go over the budget. Because that was going to be the other thing. How do you, especially if you say we are feasting and there are many of us, mm -hmm. how do you keep this? Because these are tough economic times. They're very tough. And I don't think that uh, food should be expensive to be tasty. Mm -hmm. No ways. I'm not advocating that at all. Uh, this, um, the meats and everything cost me less than 600 rand. Okay. So um, under the budget, 1,000 rand, you can do all of these things. Okay, you can add in your salad and your rice and then it's a thousand rand. So stick to the budget, look look what we created. Yeah. And we're about to serve about at least eight to 10 people. Wow, you know, with choice. The whole crew, that's the what's whole going to crew. happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you mentioned your blog and that's where your recipes are. Yes. Okay. All right, I am Chef Lizwe from Dina at Matloha. Okay. Um, I am a drum food ambassador. I write recipes for Drum Magazine. Um, and then I have, I, I, I run cooking classes from my uh, kitchen in Don Park. Okay. Um, my blog is called Denied Matloha. Please go follow it. It's on Instagram. Please go follow. Uh, we just joined Twitter. But if you join uh, Instagram, all these recipes will be there tonight. So what is your cooking philosophy? Is it, I know it's quite beautiful, it's flavorful, but it also seems like very simple. Because yes. I think often what puts people off cooking is it feels like you need to know, you know, saffron and you know how this goes with that. And But it seems that you, your approach to cooking is very simple. Delicious, very simple. But simple. Very simple. Like I'm all about, uh, it has to be quick. I have kids and a husband and I am a working woman. I really don't have time to be slaving all day. I'm too tired. I want to rest. So my food has to be quick. It has to be easy, but it has to be tasty. Yeah. No matter how. At the same time, I don't want to spend. Like I, it's, it's unnecessary for me to spend a lot of money mm -hmm. and make food taste good because food has to taste good. It has to taste good yeah. without you uh, spending all of your December budget money. And so then comes January's under a thousand rand. Under a thousand rand. Can we try and do that? Just to, to, to serve about eight to ten people. Can we try and do that? And your blog again, you said? Dina at Matloha mm -hmm. on Instagram and Twitter. You can find us there. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much for making what will be breakfast for us. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely um, breakfast. I know. Christmas. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for coming in. It's, it's been a, a pleasure. pleasure. And you've actually helped me out because I've been racking my brain. I don't know what I'm making for Christmas. Okay. Life. I'm so now, happy. now I have an idea. So thank, thank you so you. much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the invite. Thank you for coming in. That's Chef uh, Lisa uh, Matlaoha sharing her best traditional Christmas recipes uh, and also giving us some ideas on how to feast but on a budget for these tough economic times.